So many people are very, very confused. And I wanna kind of make something very simple for you today about how to invest in the cryptocurrency space because you get a lot of competing theories. You get, buy 15 Solana, you're gonna be a millionaire. Buy 100 Cardano, you're gonna be a millionaire. Do that, you're gonna be a millionaire. I'm gonna explain to you very simply how cryptocurrency applies to becoming a millionaire. Very simple. And I'm gonna put a promise out there. If you follow the steps that I'm going to be teaching over the course of the next decades here on this channel, I can turn just about any one of you into a millionaire if you actually follow the advice that I'm going to give you with money. I'm not giving you specific financial advice. I will not tell you what to buy. But if you do the steps that I teach you, they are biblical, they are proven, they have made almost every single millionaire a millionaire, then you can become a millionaire. But I do want to burst your bubble. It might not happen in the next 18 months. It might not happen in this bull market. And that's because unless you're insanely good at picking altcoins and you know how to pick 500x altcoins and you've still got... 10 or ten to $100,000 to invest in it, a million dollar net worth might not come in the next 18 months. But if you do as I say, within the next 10 years, if you're making more than, I'd say about forty dollars to $50,000 a year, you could probably become a millionaire. Relatively simple. Today, I wanna to talk about how cryptocurrency applies, uh, how cryptocurrency investment plays into that. We've been talking about this week how Bitcoin could go under a drop uh, to around forty-eight dollars to $50,000. Ever since Monday, we've been talking about that. And since then, Bitcoin has stagnated a little bit. A few cryptocurrencies have absolutely moonshot this week. Uniswap's a big, a big example. There's low liquidity. It jumped almost 50% in the span of just a few minutes up to over $11. Very excited about that. Uniswap is all of a sudden the best performing asset in our portfolio. Um, so very, very pumped about that. But Bitcoin's been going through a correction. Many people are wondering, well, Jeff, what do I do during a correction? So I want to explain again. You've probably heard this a hundred times, but here's what I'm going to do. It's what my father taught me. I'm going to drill it into your head and I'm going to tell you a thousand times till you're actually doing it. Because a lot of you guys are complaining, saying, oh, Jeff's saying the same thing. Yeah, but are you doing it? That's why I'm saying the same thing over and over and over again. All right, let's break it down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's break it down. How do we invest in crypto to make some money? First things first, figure out how much money you can put in every month. You do that out of your budget. Now we're getting into personal finance territory, so I will leave it there for another channel and for other videos, but figure out how much money you can budget for investment in crypto every single month. Is it $500? Is it $1,000? It needs to be less than you are. It needs to be um, money that you are able to lose without going into exorbitant debt or going bankrupt or anything like that. You're not putting your life savings in here, guys. You're saying, I can, I make seven grand a month after my take home, after my ex, my necessary expenses, I, I, I have to spend 4,500 on that. I got 2,500 left over every month. I'm living in the green living on less than I make, biblical principle, please do that. If you're underwater every month, there's a problem. Knock, 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 spend less money. Okay, good deal, you got a profit, great. I can afford to put 500 bucks, let's call it 600 bucks every month into crypto. All right, that's $150 a week, great. What do we do? We put probably about 100 to 120 of that into the actual market and you put about 20, 30, 40 of that, generally about 25% into something called a lump sum fund. Um, you buy the market on a schedule, every Friday, every Monday, every Monday at 2 p.m., every Friday at 10 a.m., you have a schedule. You wanna have groceries in your fridge? You know what you do? You go to the grocery store at the same time, on the same day, every single week, and you do that for the rest of your life. And you know what happens? You will have, I kid you not, we just did this. You will have, this is a real life example right here. I'm in my car, we just picked it up. You will have Hot Pockets. Okay, you will have hot pockets in your fridge if you do groceries every single week. You will have crypto in your portfolio to sell at the top if you buy crypto every single week. Do you see the simplicity? It's not, I need a thousand Cardano, I need 15 Solana, I just need one Bitcoin. That's great, awesome. Do this one thing and you will be a millionaire. If you give it enough time. There's a lot more to it than this, but this is one facet of it. Buy the market, about three quarters of what you put in every single week, put into the market. A quarter of it, put into a lump sum fund. Where do you put the lump sum fund? Do you put it under your mattress? No, because inflation is gonna eat you. Put it into a yield bearing account. USDC will generate 5.05% right now. Uh, uh, high interest savings accounts will generate 5% right now. Go get 5% on your lump sum fund and put it in cash. Have a hoard in a pile and a giant mountain of cash. Like you're the freaking joker, just don't set it on fire because you're not a moron, okay? Have a pile of cash. And then what happens is if Bitcoin drops down to 48 grand, you wanna know what you do? You take the dollar cost averaging that you do every single week and you double it, or you increase it by 150%. You increase it based on how deep the cut is. If Bitcoin dropped down to $38,000 tomorrow, then you double that sucker. And where does the money come from? Because you can't just double the amount that you put into the market based on your, um, based on your monthly income. You take the extra that you dollar cost average out of the lump sum fund that you've been investing in 
over the past three to six months, because hopefully you started this a while ago and in the future, then you will have started this back now, right? Cool. So every week, put up three quarters of your money into your altcoin fund. I'm gonna buy 10% of it's going into Bitcoin, 10% is going into ETH. I'm gonna put 5% into Cardano, I'm gonna put 5% into Cardano. Here's my altcoin investment strategy. Um, and you put a quarter of the money that you put in every week into your lump sum fund. And now, instead of putting $100 every week into Bitcoin, it drops down to 38. I'm putting 200. Where's the money coming from? Well, it's coming from that money that you put in that yield-bearing savings account or in the yield-bearing uh, staked USDC or some kind of stable coin. That's what you do. What do I do, Jeb, if Bitcoin drops down to 48? That's what you do. It's not, you just need 15 Solana, guys. You just need 100 Solana to become a millionaire. There's a lot that goes into becoming a millionaire. And you know what? It's not just about picking the right freaking altcoin. We have got to stop saying, if I just buy this one altcoin and I buy enough of it, I'm going to be a millionaire. Well, you know what? You might be a millionaire. And you know what might also happen? Because you didn't learn how to manage your finances, you're going to lose all of it. Okay? You know how many people I know became millionaires and now they are not because on the way up they didn't learn how to manage the millions they just got kind of lucky and then they lost all of it because they didn't have to build the principle they didn't have to build the practices that make to make themselves a millionaire in other words get rich slowly and you'll probably keep it it can happen relatively quickly but i want to promise you something about the systems that we teach they're not necessarily easy and they are not necessarily quick but they are relatively simple and they are 100 percent proven you are guaranteed to generate wealth if you follow the strategies that we teach. And that's something that not many people can say. You will take losses along the way. But in general, if you live in a free market capitalistic country where you're able to own your own stuff without people with guns coming and stealing it from you, then you can generate wealth. And part of that is dollar cost averaging into the market, dollar cost averaging into a lump sum fund. And then when the market goes down, you buy more. So long as, it's a, so long as it going down is just because people got bored of it. I'm not talking about BitConnect going from $400 to zero, guys. I'm not saying you buy in and you lump sum invest in, in that case. What I am saying is that if a very good asset, like a VeChain or Cardano or a Ethereum or a Bitcoin drops 20%, then you have a lump sum fund to put more money into that market. And you know what you do? You lower your average cost basis and you get that asset on the cheap. And then you have a system and a strategy that, that plants seeds for you automatically so that you can turn around and harvest the fruit of that crop when you start hitting all-time high and breaking well above it. The idea is to, with as low risk as possible, invest as low as possible and sell as high as possible for consistent returns every time a market goes through a bull and a bear market. You do the same thing in the stock market, by the way. If you want to learn more about this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot of educational content coming out, guys. Our plans are like this tall. We've got so many things that are coming that are going to teach you guys how to be ridiculously successful with money. So stay tuned. Got to go for now. Looking forward to seeing you on Monday. Peace.